naked women and beer. We got it all in here. Hey guys, I'm Lance Smith with Hank Williams Jr. in Nashville, Tennessee, and it's time to get you in with the band. You're in with the band. Great. You're in with the band. Come on, guys. You're in with the band. So are you punk? I'm punk. Best night of my life ever. Hey guys, it's going to be a really great show. We're about to hop in the CMT truck, leave Nashville, and travel almost 100 miles south to the Alabama state line. Track down our Hank Williams Jr. fan and let him know that he's in with the band. So our fan's name is Steve Moore. He's an electrical lineman who climbs power poles for a living. Steve says that he's been a Hank Jr. fan since he was six years old. So in his letter, Steve writes, Hank's music was the center of my entire childhood and teen years. I've spent countless hours riding back roads and listening to his music. It's a lifelong dream of mine to meet Hank Williams Jr. All my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. Born into country royalty, Hank first became known as the son of country music legend Hank Williams Sr. Hank Jr. got his nickname Bo Cephas from his daddy. He grew up on stage singing his daddy's songs until one day he said enough, enough and began recording a much rowdier sound. He was one of the first country artists to mix country music with hard edge rock and roll. With more than 64 albums, 24 gold and 10 platinum, Hank has maintained a legion of loyal fans for over 20 years. But to really get Hank, you have to see him live. He's known for totally shredding and then tossing his fiddle. He is one of the loudest, wildest, rowdiest performers on stage in country or rock. Okay, so we're in Lawrenceburg. This is where Steve works, and this is Doyle, Steve's partner. Now, uh, we pulled you off the job, which is just a few feet away, so we can pull one over on it. Do th you think he knows anything? No, I don't think he does right now. Okay, now we've told him that uh, we're a news crew from Nashville and we're going to check out the progress of the work here in Lawrenceburg. Let's go let him know he's in with the band. Okay, let's right, do it. Let's do it. Steve? Steve, how you doing? All right. I'm Lance. How you doing? From CMT, how you doing? Right. You a big Hank Jr. fan? Yes, I am. How would you like to get in with the band? I love it. Yeah? Tell them that. I'd love it. Yeah? How big of a fan are you? A big fan. You're in with the band. Great. He's in with the band. Come on, guys. He's in with the band. Your heart racing? Absolutely. You're going to meet Hank. My knees are getting weak. Are they? Yeah. I'm in with the band. <laughs> You're in on this, huh? I can't believe she made it all night last night without telling me. Thankfully, she got up and put on me a nice new shirt this morning and laid it out for me. When I was a teenager, I, I was a member of the fan club, and he sent me this autographed picture. And you've held on to it ever since. Absolutely. Show it all in the clear. I just love his music. But I've always been a little bit of a rebel, so I, I like that. That's your chariot right there. Congratulations, Steve! Congratulations. I see everybody's looking like... Wow, CMT's in Larkford? Did I mention that CMT got me in with the band? No, you're kidding. I'm going to meet Hank Jr. tomorrow. Great. I'm, I still can't believe it. So, uh, who do we need to tell first, you know? Well, since my wife's out of town, I'd have to start with my best friend. There he is. What are you doing? What's up? I don't know, you tell me. I'm in with the band, dude. Cool. He and I have probably spent more time together than anybody else on this earth. And uh, we sp I know I've spent more time listening to Hank with him than anybody. Now I'm down to deciding who gets to go. Him or my wife. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, uh-oh. See, now you're going to cause trouble. What's your wife's name? Amy. Hello? Hi, Amy? No, this isn't Steve. This is, uh, this is Lance Smith with CMT. How are you? Who do you think should go here? I mean, I have to ask you. I'm stepping in, but now I don't know. It's not looking good. I don't know. It, yeah, it sort of, it might be a guy thing. She's saying it's a guy thing. You see, I don't know. Hey. You don't? I think she's out. She's out. Right. 
Okay. I love you. Me too. Bye. Hugs and kisses. I have just waged a war between my best friend and my wife for the honor of going with me to meet Hank. And I'm almost ashamed to say that my best friend won out. Did I mention I'm meeting Hank tomorrow? No, you're going to see Hank Jr. I am meeting Hank tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll go. Okay. I'll go. You going? Appreciate it. You going? Yeah, I'm going. Hank just landed in his helicopter, rode over to the bus. He's getting dressed now. I'm fixing to meet him. We do occasionally like to have a cocktail or two. Please don't put this on TV. CMT brings Montgomery Gentry My Town Weekend to your town for a 100 proof party. Eddie and I are just two good old boys from Kentucky. Get on the bus with the premiere of a new total release, Most Wanted Live, CMT Inside Fame, and more. If you're scared. And can you believe it? He picked his best friend, Corey, instead of his wife. We bailed them out, though, by getting tickets for their wives, too. Corey and Steve are arriving backstage at the Hank Williams Jr. concert right now. I'm here with CMT. We're going backstage. Lucky you guys, you're going to go backstage. Very few get to do that. Cool. There it is. Do you ever think we'd be back here? We're on the stage. Guys, you having fun here backstage? Oh, yeah, huh? we are. Oh, yeah, you awesome. are having a ball. Okay, well, it gets even better because uh, here are your passes. You want to stick those on? Cool. Slap them on. Great. Okay, it gets even better. Let's see, what, what else do we have? I've got goodies here. I've got uh, VIP passes because you are VIP here at the show. Cool. Uh, and that, yes, that is very cool. There you go. Backstage. How does this look, guys? It's awesome. Yeah? It looks a lot better from this looks side. looks different from this side, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah. Where are we right now? What is this? This, this is our normal seats when we... Normal seats? Yeah. This is kind of far away, guys. You can almost see who's singing on the stage. Yeah. Are those people over there? I think. A little early, huh? It's early. What is that light out there, man? I think it's the sun. <laughs> it's the sun. God. What's your name? Steve Moore. Steve, I almost left of Animal. How you doing? Great. Oh, Animal's a guitar player. Has been for years. Every concert I've been to, he's been playing. Yeah, it is. You guys want to come up and look at it? It's, uh, it's The coast is clear. Cool. There are no, no bodies in the, in the aisle or anything. It was absolutely surreal stepping on the bus. Right. right. Rick Steve Bradford. Moore. This is the inner sanctum. On the way up here this morning, we were discussing, wouldn't it be great if we could actually get on the bus? So it was, it was almost unreal. Everybody's made us feel most welcome. We were on the bus. Right. That's where we live, gang. Chris is a great guy. He's let us unload all the guitars. This one uh, is Hanks. He plays, uh, he plays this one a lot on the show. He let us sit in the chair. The chair. He's really gave us all access. You can be hanging around. The band seems to think I'm singing a sound check. I'm going to have him sing Dinosaur. That's his favorite Hank song. I've never heard it in concert. That we always yell Dinosaur at the concerts trying to get him to play it. And it just never, never has played it. And it's original key of Scared to death. You're gonna help us out there, for real, right? I can't say. Big man, them ain't high heels, high heels. And they show sure don't look like cowboy boots. Singing on stage with the Bama Band. 
them playing a song just for me that they haven't played in who knows when. Yes, scared to death. It brought back a lot of memories. There's countless hours we spent listening to that song. We'll go, wait a minute, this wasn't like the record. And then we'll start thinking, wait a minute, they're right. This is the most fun I've ever had, hands down. The most fun I've ever had. Now I'm going to pass out. Today we have kind of a special thing that you're going to do with Hank. When you meet Hank, um, you're going, his record label, Curb Records, is not going to be here with us tonight. So you are going to fill in for one of the executives and present Hank with a quadruple platinum record. Also signifying that after we did CMT Crossroads with Kid Rock, His album, Greatest Hits, went number one on the SoundScan charts. Why must you live after the song that you wrote? Be like you. He does not know he's getting this today. So when you give it to him, he will be extremely surprised. Wow. If I'm down in a honky tonk, somebody's gonna give us friction. What you tell him? <laughs> All I can say is don't drop it. Really? Yeah, that's that's kind of a must, but Leave us alone with singing all night long to know family tradition. Oh. Hi, hey. how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Lance Smith. Nice to meet you, Lance. Nice I'm Amy. Amy, hi. hi. I'm Theresa. Th Theresa? Theresa. Nice to meet you guys, and you are? I'm Steve's wife. Oh, you're the wife. I'm the wife. <laughs> you're the wife. I'm the and you wife. are? I'm the first You're the wife. other wife. <laughs> Out of all that's happened today, the sound check. I mean, you've had a pretty amazing day. Oh. And, uh, and now the moment's almost here. It's all built up to this. I don't think I've ever been this intimidated. Really? There he is. Now it's, it seems even more unreal. No, unreal. Unreal. It's like, now I know I'm dreaming. Okay, Kurt, everything is in place. It'll just give me about a minute warning when you're rolling. Steve Moore. I'd like to introduce you to somebody this. I know that's Steve, I can tell. By Mr. The way, Hank Williams, Jr. It's All a right. pleasure to meet you. All righty. I'm a pleasure. Well, a helicopter guy. I didn't know if we were going to land here or not, but we made it. That's a great entrance. So are you pumped? I'm pumped. Well, I've good. Go out and do a show day. for me, then. <laughs> I'll sound check. We'll put a hat and glasses on you. Uh, I'll, ne I'll never pass. Could you do it? I'll never pass. You're a big boy. You can do it. Uh, whew. The whole day has been a highlight, but naturally... The highlight was meeting Hank. Pleasure. I've got, got a little girls. something over here to show you. All right. To commemorate your greatest hits album, Richard. Quadruple platinum. I'll be done. Well, as number one on the Billboard charts for the week after the Crossroads Can show. Can you believe that? It's my honor, on behalf of Curb Records, to present you with it. How many weeks? It's four hundred and over eight, eight years. Eight. Wow. On the charts. Wow. Boy, I'll tell you what, this is wonderful. Uh, to come in here at this chopper, into this place, and see all these cars out here. You know what? I have got a good gig. You do. <laughs> I got a You've good gig. You've always had a good gig. Well, I don't know about that. I, I do. It wasn't a whole lot of fun years ago, but it is now. That is the highlight of my life. That, that was so awesome as a, as a fan to get to, to give him a tribute like that. And especially since he didn't know it. That was the ultimate. I've, I've never, Man, this ever, is great. not had fun at your concert. Well, that's good to know. We don't want any, we don't want any bored people I, leaving. I've told them, Hank doesn't know it, but my best friend here and I have spent many, many hours 
with you. You just didn't know it riding back roads listening to your music. Yeah, you know what? There's a guy that uh, quarterbacks for the Green Bay Packers named Brett Favre, and he and his brother told me the same thing. Hank is a super nice guy. Just super friendly. Very easy to talk to. Gotta have that. You gonna wear your hand out? Nah, this is the easy part. One, two, three. One, this. Yes. Bye. Bye. I just met Hank. I just got invited to his abode. I'm, I'm having trouble processing all of this. That was too much. That was fantastic. My dream has come true. I met Hank. You see stars in his eyes. Kind of like when I first met you, huh? Oh, man. You're a wonderful wife. All I've heard all day, whatever you do, catch the fiddle. Their music made them famous. Her life story was a country song. Their tragic stories made them legend. Tammy Wynette had an FBI file an inch thick. From life on the lost highway. Did he die in the hotel? Did he die on the road? To the wrong end of a gun. She pulled the trigger. Country's most shocking deaths, close calls, and near misses. Somebody's gonna die here tonight. Coming up next, part of CMT's Country on the Edge Week. For our most I'm on that. We were soldiers on inside. JC Penny. Homeowners, what would you record Hank seemed pretty pleased you know what I have got a good gig <laughs> and now it's showtime it's serious about your heartburn call toll-free 800-263-3753 It's been a busy day backstage at the Hank Williams Jr. concert. So far, our fan Steve has met Hank's band and toured Hank's bus. He strung Hank's guitars and sang his favorite Hank song at Soundcheck. And then, of course, he met Hank Williams Jr. and presented him with a quadruple platinum record. Hank seemed pretty pleased. You know what? I have got a good gig. <laughs> and now, it's showtime. Uh, I'm freaking out. Make some noise one more time. Come on, Nashville, get up, get around, because Bo Stephens is about to be on this stage. Show's about to begin. Hank's coming out. And I'm actually going to get to be part of the show. Check, check, one, two, hey, yeah. At some point, he's going to toss me a fiddle, and I may or may not catch it. You'll catch it. Just don't catch the bow. Right. Dodge the bow, catch the bill. They've been warning me all day about catching the fiddle. You know, I think it's time I want to get my fiddle out and do a little fiddling here. Uh, Bo's going to come first and ignore the bow. They had told me that Kalaja, when he played Kalaja, that's when I'd have to catch the fiddle. Heart rate shot.
shot upward, skyward. Uh, my hands were sweating so bad. So Goldberg lines me up where he wants me standing. And I realized there's no way I can catch a fiddle because my hands are so slick. So like 15 times I'm drying my hands and I was so scared I would drop them. I had no idea how it was going to be coming, if it was going to be spinning end over end or flipping or rolling. can just see me and, hey, that's the guy that dropped Hank's fiddle. I was holding the fiddle thinking, you know, Hank just played with this fiddle. And here I am holding it. I never in a million years dreamed I'd ever do anything near that. Oh my God, man. You guys. Congratulations for surviving. Thank you so much. It's been absolutely fantastic. You see, you can be a hillbilly singer. <laughs> Meeting Animal, that was a, that was great. He's a super nice guy. He made the whole day. I was expecting a real rush through. Hey, how you doing? Got to go. I'd get to watch the concert up close. Whoa, was it way more than that? It was a hundred times more than I expected. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Hank. You, everything I ever thought you'd be. Just a super nice guy. Thank you, CMP, from the bottom of my heart. The best day of my life. Make some noise for our fan here, Steve. How you doing, Steve? Fantastic! Did we make your day? You made my whole year. That's what I like to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, good night, America. Good night, CMT. See you.